Hello everybody, I am Jedi Jack Penguin and welcome back to another LEGO Disney review. So today we're going to be looking at set number 40478, the mini Disney castle. This set includes 567 pieces and originally retailed for $34.99 back in October of 2021. Now unfortunately, though I hate to say it, this is probably the closest I'm ever going to get to owning a Disney castle in Lego form. I would love to get that direct to consumer one day, though one day that will be. Getting right into the box are you get your Lego Disney logo up at the top. 50th anniversary of Walt Disney World. Lego typically loves to gloss over anniversaries, so I think it's really great that we're getting a physical regular retail set here. That's just one thing I wanted to point out. Really beautiful box art with that plain blue. They don't really need anything else there. From the very back, you get a back view of the castle in addition to the dimensions and also a physical picture of the actual castle, which is really great to see on a box like this. So yeah, that's pretty much all that I have to say for the box art. Also have to appreciate that we have some tape as opposed to push tabs that also adds to the deal that we're getting here. Looking at the box contents, you get a total of four numbered bags, bags three and four both featuring two in addition to your instruction manual. Following current unboxing trends, the instructions are a little rumpled up, but it's fine. We mimic the front of the box, back features the wind guy, leading to two pages of piece count, another additional page leading to our final overall model. Also like that this is more of a booklet style though. Again, LEGO really has to figure this out when it comes to packaging their sets so these don't get rumpled up. So yeah, that's all that I have to say for the box contents. Let's take a look at our minifigure and the final overall model. Looking at the one and only minifigure included in this set, we have Mickey Mouse, who is exclusive featuring all brand new prints. We get some printing for the shoes right there on those plain red legs. We get some white hands for some gloves. Pretty nice little tuxedo shirt going on. And you can take a look at the back where we don't have any printing, which is totally fine in my opinion. We use the Mickey Mouse mold for the head which also features an exclusive print where you can see the eyebrows are slightly different compared to other ones that you would get within, say, the 4 Plus sets. And of course, if you really want to, we get one of those holes from the very top of the head if you want to put an accessory. Looking at the beauty, that is the Microscale Disney Castle. I don't typically like Microscale sets, though this one I think turned out really great. You get a few exclusive prints. From the very front, on an Exonite shield piece, we have the clock, which I think is really nice that they actually represented this with a print as opposed to a sticker. We also get that different type of gold, which you'll also see on these pillars from the side on those dish pieces, as opposed to the older style gold, which we'll see a lot more of, which I don't typically like when they mix those two golds together, but I think it works here. We also have some crowbars being cleverly used on those clip pieces just for these lines going up here. You can see that we have a little bridge that brings you to the front door, which also has an interior to the set, which is really one of my only complaints when it comes to this, that I wish that there was a way to remove this top section without completely destroying the set so then you can view what's inside here. I did have to take pictures while building this so then you guys would be able to see these particular details, including this really amazing 2x3 tile print of the Disney Castle direct-to-consumer box that only comes within the Disney train set that released in 2019. And we also get a 1x2 tile print for Cinderella slippers, which is quite fitting considering this is Cinderella's castle. And that piece only came within the Cinderella's carriage set that released earlier on in January. One other thing that I think that they could have done with this build is include prints on those nano figs but then again, I just wish that they would give me a way to remove the top section of the castle without completely destroying the build. Another thing to talk about is a lot of the building techniques in here I just really love, especially how they do like the side panelings here, how we use these shield pieces that connect to these skeleton arms right there just to get those angles. I think that works really well. And we use that a lot throughout the side of the build, except for over here, where we have a slightly different build. I don't like how we have this more like square, more blocky look from the side. I don't know if that's completely accurate or not. And also just seeing some of these holes from the very side, I don't really like that. But it's what you get for a micro scale build. Most people will be displaying it like this and nobody will be really looking at it 
from that top view. Another thing that I also really love about this set are a lot of these opalescent translucent blue pieces which feature the sparkles. I really love getting a lot of those. You get the medium dish piece, the small dish piece, and you also get it with these cone pieces up there. You get some of these skis in gold. A lot of building on the side for the towers over here where we also use those binoculars pieces just for some of the windows. I really like how they use that. And then moving to the back, you can also take a look at the interior a little bit. You can see your nano figs. Another thing to talk about from the very back here is that we get some more of these really cool window pieces which also have some sparkles in them. I really love getting those panes with that. We also get the candle piece in gold for these small little pillars. I think that works pretty well. You can take a look up here. You have a little balcony area. Would have liked to have seen some more sort of like an area to actually have like a door or something there. Would have liked a print or something to make that look nicer. But of course you're not going to be displaying this from the back. Lots and lots of building on the side, lots of different clip piece connections for all of these different angles, leading all the way to the very top of this tower. Lots of gold, lots of blue, and of course you get your regular light gray, dark gray, and a bit of black for the very base of the build. So overall, for $35, is this set worth it? I mean, technically you get an exclusive version of Mickey Mouse, and you get a brand new and exclusive print here, as opposed to stickers, and you get two really desirable prints, at least in my opinion, within the interior. Though one of the downsides, at least in my opinion, to this set has to be the interior, just because you can't remove the top section of the castle to access those exclusive prints. I wish that there would be an easy way to do that. Again, a lot of the building techniques in here, I really, really like how it turned out. I'm not one for micro scale and I think that this set really turned out as an amazing display piece. I'm even excited to probably put this set next to my micro scale Hogwarts just as a small little castle to go along with it. So yeah, that's pretty much all that I have to say for this video. Leave your thoughts down in the comment section below what your thoughts are on this set. Always remember to like and subscribe and hit that bell icon to know every time I upload a new video. So yeah, that's it for now and I will see you next time. Bye!